that uh, helps me you know, calculate the loads and apply them. So this is the, the outcome uh, I got in RSA software. And now I can run calculations and I'm getting all the results I mentioned already. So these results can be either uh, reviewed in RSA environment or in Dynamo. So currently, when you want to use this package, you need to run Dynamo for Revit. So if you open Revit and start Dynamo, you can also output your uh, models to, to RSA environment, or you can use uh, structural um, uh, Dynamo Studio. But to, to give you a, a, a sneak preview of, a sneak peek of what's coming, um, there, there are plans to add um, Dynamo to robot structure analysis environment, so you will be able to run di uh, Dynamo directly from within robots, uh, similarly like uh, from Revit or Advanced Steel. The next package I would like to talk about is, um, is an analytical model. An analytical model package. So this package was created to help you solve uh, problems you may you may um, you may face with uh, uh, your analytical models in Revit. Uh, the package was introduced when we had Revit uh, 2019 version. So currently we have two packages available. Uh, the, the one dedicated for version 2019 and the second one for 2020. Um, the package helps structural engineers to better control and, and automate creation of analytical models in Revit uh, for consistency and to make sure the Revit model is ready for structure analysis. Um, and uh, together with the package, uh, there are some example scripts ready to be used. So just download it, open the scripts um, in Dynamo Player, and, and give it a try. So let's see this package in action. Uh, as you know, Revit provides a physical model to use for documentation and associated analytical model to use for structure analysis and design. Um, Dynamo scripts created from the package nodes take a Revit model and generate a consistent and connected analytical representation that corresponds to the geometrical shapes of the Revit model. The scripts can be run from the Dynamo player, like I said, and user can choose the first, second, and the third priority elements. The first priority element is the master element and snaps second and third priority elements to it. Second priority elements will attract nodes of elements of the third priority category. For example, column location is more important than beam location. Uh, the tolerance of the adjustment can be easily customized. Uh, this functionality enhances structural engineers' productivity by automating modeling and control over the analytical model in Revit. Then the modified analytical model can be sent for the structural analysis to RSA software, um, where many different types of analysis are available, like um, static, linear, model, nonlinear, seismic, footfall, etc. These analysis cover any type of analysis structure engineers would need to conduct during a project uh, of any type. And after that, the results of the analysis can be brought back uh, to the Revit environment. And the last package I would like to highlight today that is uh, available, uh, available for you is uh, the package that automates insertion of steel connections um, in the Revit environment. With this package, uh, you can use 